when a building site or a piece of land has undulations or level differences the f- information of levels is depicted in plan as contour lines what are contours or contour lines a contour is a line which joins all points that are at the same level or rise or altitude from a given datum or say a benchmark or reference thus theoretically all points on the contour lie on the same level thus different contours depict different planes of levels on site in a drawing any two adjacent contours have the same level difference which is called the contour interval let us understand this with an example these dotted lines in the plan are the contours at different levels The values 100, 101, 102, 103 are the levels of these contours from a given datum. The land is sloping down from level 103 to level 100. This is case 1. and we will do another case with reverse sequence of levels as case In case 2 the innermost contour is the lowest and the outermost contour is the highest and the land slopes up in this direction this value on a contour is its level from a datum these contour levels are written systematically so that they can be read and understood conveniently Let us make a section through the contours for case 1. This is the section line cutting across the contours. Let us take projections up from these points. We will now make the planes for each contour in the section. These are the lines of planes of each level from 100 to 103. Let us take projections upwards from points where the contour is cut by the section plane. The meeting of these projections with the respective level planes will give us points to derive the profile of the land at the section plane this is the profile of land derived by joining these points let us do a similar exercise for case 2 where the slope is reverse these are the lines of planes for each level from 100 to 103 Let us take projections downwards from points where the contour is cut by the section plane. Similar to case 1, we get the profile of land across the section plane. Let us understand a few interpretations from the contour conditions. When the spacing between the contours is more, the slope of the land is gentle there. when the spacing is less there is a steep slope around a flat land you have contours with the same level values modification of ground surface or level is done by cutting land or filling land or both by cutting and filling this may be needed to find the correct place for siting or locating the building blocks roads etc a grading plan is made for this which shows the existing and proposed contours or the modified contours 
as per the selected location. This is a plan of a site which has these parallel contours and we will locate the building here on this wider stretch. Let us understand condition 1. The land slopes up from level 100 to 104. This is the section line to understand how we will get the flat land to locate the building. This chain line is drawn to find the points on contours cut by the section plane. These are the lines of planes of each contour level and their level values. First, we will draw the existing profile of land. The decision to locate the building may depend on design strategy and not necessarily the spacing between the contours. But for our understanding, we will locate the building between these two contours. They have a gentle slope between them. In condition 1, we will locate the building base at the level of higher contour that is level 102. This red block is our building in section and the base at level 102. We will achieve flat land below the building for this. These are the two edges of the flat land at level 102. For getting this flat land, we will have to fill earth in that triangular space under the building. So, earth will be brought from some other site and filled here. This edge needs to be closed so that it can retain the earth for achieving the flat land. Earth from a different location can then be filled here. This is the new profile of land as shown by this thick line. This is the earth fill retained by the retaining wall. We now have a flat ground within these two edges which is at level 102. Let us understand the implication or effect of this on the contours in plan. This red line next to the contour 101 is the proposed or modified contour 102 which is the right edge of the flat land. The overlapping or closely spaced contours 101 and 102 imply that there is a steep rise or fall at this edge. This may be verified here in the section also. Existing contours are depicted in plans using dotted line. New proposed or modified contours are depicted by firm line. So this was condition 1 where we chose this wider width to place the building. The flat land was taken at higher level. Because of this earth was filled to achieve flat land at level 102. Earth was brought from some other site. A retaining wall helped in keeping the earth in place. Due to this, the right edge also has level 102. So is the left edge at level 102. This can be seen in the modified contours in the plan also. And we got a new graded profile of the land for locating the building. In condition 2, we will locate the building within the same two contours, that is 101 and 102. But we will get a flat land at lower level, that is 101. Let us understand this situation in a section through a similar exercise that we did for condition 1. This is the section plane cutting across the contours. These are the lines of planes of each contour level. And their level values. This is the existing profile of the land as per the contours. 
In condition 1, we took the flat land for building at level 102. In condition 2, the flat land for the building will be taken at level 101. This red block is our building in section and we will achieve the flat land for the building and other spaces in this width. To create flat land at level 101 The earth in this triangular area will have to be excavated. This excavated earth needs to be disposed of somewhere at the other side. Depending on the soil type, we may or may not take these two retaining walls. it may be required to retain the soil if it is loose in nature we will excavate and dispose earth here to get flat land at level 101 thus between these two edges we have the flat land at level 101 and this is the final profile of the land translating this condition of flat land at level 101 on plan Let us make the proposed or modified contours around this stretch. A contour of level 101 is proposed near 102 contour and this is the condition of drop or rise. This is that condition in section The red firm line is the proposed or the modified contour. So, the modified contour is the one at level 101 and the existing one is at level 102. So in condition 2 we had to place the building in this stretch we chose the lower level that is 101 level for flat land this triangular part had to be excavated and disposed of somewhere else two retaining walls depending on the soil type were also made This was the final profile we got on which the building could be placed. The two edges of this flat land have contour of level 101. This is condition 3. in which we have chosen the same width of land for locating the building in condition 1 we place the building at level 102 in condition 2 we place the building at level 101 in condition 3 we will place the building at a level in between 101 and 102 this is the existing profile of land at the section plane We will locate the building somewhere in between level 101 and 102. Let us take level 101.5. This red block is my building in section. Unlike the last two cases where we either filled the earth or excavated the earth, in this condition we will excavate earth from the higher portion and use it to fill the lower portion. So we are cutting from one part and filling the other part. To retain the fill, we will need a retaining wall. 
and we may need another wall on left to retain the earth from falling. Earth has been leveled at 101.50 level and we have this whole stretch at 101.50 level for locating the building. Let us now translate this condition of the two edges as contours on the plan. This is the proposed or modified contour 101.50 level on the two edges of the flatland. This is the condition of steep drop and we can see the existing and modified contours on both the sides. This retaining wall is essential to retain the filled earth. This is the final profile of land at the section plane after the modification. So in condition 3, building was located at a level somewhere between the levels of the two contours, level 101.50. We cut earth from one portion and fill the other portion with it using a retaining wall. We achieved the flat at level 101.50 for locating the building. Modified contours were transferred on the plan. A flat land was finally achieved. Here we have condition 4, where a larger width of land is needed to place the building. Through a similar exercise, let us see how the contours get modified. This is the existing profile of land at the section plane. A new contour at level 99 has been added here. The building design needs a larger width of flat land for locating the building. The design based on contour may be accommodating two floor levels. One level will be fixed between level 101 and 102. A second level will be accommodated between level 99 and 100. First level is 101.50, second level is at 99.50. This is how the two levels will come in section. This will be the required profile of land. These are the required retaining walls. This is the profile of the land achieved. These are the conditions of cut and fill which created the two levels of land. This part of the retaining wall is essential. We have achieved this wider piece of land to accommodate the design. One floor is accommodated at 99.50 level and the other is accommodated at 101.50 level. Let us translate this condition on plan in the form of proposed or modified contours. 
at this edge we have four contours overlapping and that is why we have this steep drop here one of them is of level 100 which shifted left to come in line with the others for this condition this drop may be seen in the section these four levels have all come in line with contour of level 101 existing contour of level 100 has also shifted and come in line with 101 contour Contours 99 and 99.5 are in this line. A larger width required for placing the building. In this, such a level difference was achieved. 99.50 and 101.50 were identified as flat portions for the two floors. Such a profile was achieved using a series of retaining wall. This was the line of the steep drop. Please note that the contour values have been taken to understand the concept. Please do not relate them to normal floor to floor heights. Finally, we will do a similar exercise only in plan, where the contours are not straight. We will locate a building. Identify the edge of flat land needed for the building and its surroundings and work out the modified contours on plan. This is the location of the building and this is the edge of flat land we need for the building and around it. This is the edge required on the other side. The yellow line highlights the edge needed. Let us assume that a contour of level 102.50 runs in the middle of the contours 102 and 103. We will take the flat land at 102.50 for the building and its surroundings. At this yellow edge, we will modify and shift contours 102.5 and 103 to get a steep drop. In the lower edge, we will modify and shift 102.50 and 102 contours 
as per the required edge. The building is now located on 102.50 level. Along with its surroundings, that is, say, roads, pathways, etc. This land is sloping down from 104 to 103, like this. And here it is sloping down from level 102 to 101. Somewhere it is a steeper slope, somewhere it is less steep. So we have achieved this flat land at the level 102.50. This can be used for the building and other spaces around it. A recap. Existing contours are shown in dotted and modified or proposed contours are shown by firm line. We chose a level of 102.50 for the flat land for the building. The earth was cut from the portion rising up from 102.50 and used to fill the portion lower than 102.50. Contour 102 was relocated as per design. Portions between 102 and 101 are further lower than 102 have to be filled up to bring up to the level 102.50. Contour 103 was also modified and the earth rising up to 104 will have to be cut and maybe used for filling the lower portions. So higher portions will be cut, lower portions will be filled and finally the flat land is achieved. It will be a good exercise if you take a few hypothetical or life examples and try to understand the existing and modified contours as per design. Once you do it two or three times or four times, slowly you will start getting a hang of it and you will understand it much better. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, please do subscribe the channel.